Idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis is a disease which causes progressive scarring of the lungs. So patients develop breathlessness which gets worse over time and ultimately they develop respiratory failure. Until two years ago there weren't any available treatments in the UK but fortunately that's begun to change. So clinical trials have seen the development of two new drugs which have now been approved for treatment in the UK and both of which are now available for patients uh, with idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis. The Interstitial Lung Disease Unit at the Royal Brompton has been running for over 40 years and as a consequence we have the largest clinical service in the UK. We see on average a thousand new patients a year and have under follow-up somewhere between four and six thousand patients at any one time. Having so many patients under our care has provided us the fantastic opportunity of being able to conduct clinical research and also research to understand the nature of the disease and what causes the disease. The main research project which we're running here at the Brompton is called the Profile Study. That's a study where we've been recruiting patients who've been newly diagnosed with idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis and we've been following them up at irregular intervals for three years taking blood samples and clinical measurements and by doing that we're hoping to understand both what causes the disease but also how we can better run clinical trials for these patients. When dealing with rare diseases like idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis it's incredibly important to collaborate with other centres both to ensure that what we do here can be replicated elsewhere but also to allow us to build big enough studies with the profile study, we've had two very important collaborations, one with Dr. Geasley Jenkins at Nottingham University, and he's been able to conduct the identical study in his population of patients. And we've also been working very closely with Glaxo, Smith Klein, who are looking to develop new drugs for patients with idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis. And the combination of their industry know-how in developing new compounds and drugs together with our know-how in terms of understanding the disease uh, and being able to, to measure and monitor the disease uh, allows a, an important synergy where we can hopefully push forward the development of new treatments. We're starting to understand a lot more about fibrotic lung disease and value the patient perspective because the burden of symptoms are huge, particularly around breathlessness and cough and it's important for us to be able to have an objective measure of that. The patient experience becomes very subjective and to be able to capture the patient experience of breathlessness and cough and other symptoms that may also overlap with comorbidities enables us then to target interventions that may be appropriate for symptom relief. So from a patient perspective, uh, we're introducing new therapies and there are clinical trials ongoing, but the new therapies that are available from a pharmacological perspective have side effects and there are also other non-pharmacological therapies as well, but we need to understand how they impact upon the individual in terms of their symptom experience and in terms of their quality of life. So developing a measure with patients for patients with pulmonary fibrosis will enable us to have a robust way of measuring that impact. So conducting clinical trials in idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis is extremely important as part of the development process for getting new medicines into the clinic and here at Royal Brompton we're incredibly fortunate with our NIHR uh, respiratory BRU because that combined with our very motivated patient group allows us to conduct the sort of early phase clinical trials which are so important but which can't be done at other centres in the UK.